so after a crap load of training, we're finally ready to take on the fighting kingdom of uh, Pugilus. So let's go ahead and see what I got going on here. Battle, huh? There are lots of fighting type Pokemon in Pugilus. Uh, normal type Pokemon like Eevee and Jigglypuff will need to be careful. I just wish we had some flying type or second type Pokemon. Oh, we definitely have some flying type Pokemon. Select Warriors taking battle against Pugilus. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and send my Beldum, Dratini, um, Saravia, Pignite, and Rufflet. And we should have a pretty good battle in store for us. Um, the reason I'm taking Pignite is because he's my most powerful Pokemon. Oh, I don't want any reinforcements. Um, yes. And the reason why I'm taking Rufflet and Staravia because they have Wing Attack, of course, which is a fighting or a flying type attack, and it should be really uh, super effective against these fighting type Pokemon. So we should have no troubles whatsoever. Um, CTK, I've been waiting for you. Waiting? What do you? The so-called warlords of this area are pathetic weaklings. Invading their kingdoms would be no fun at all. Something does seem to be kicking off in the north, but that's still far away. And now you're here. I think this could be most fun I've had in years. Okay, dude. Let's let's go ahead. Let's see. He's, his strength is a little bit um, higher than mine, but I think with my super effective attacks, I think I should be able to pull it off without much problems. Um... And yeah, let's go ahead. Ah. We must be thankful for the chance. Okay, let's go. Let's see. I've got some banners again this time. The banners are at the ring's edge. You know what that means, don't you? No, no I don't. It's a gamble just like everything else in life. Those hit by attacks when at the ring's edge will fall down below. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we have to keep all the banners with it for, uh, keep control of all banners for five turns, but as soon as we get hit, we get knocked off. That's, uh, that's actually a pretty awesome twist. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our first banner, and then Dratini's going to come up here, followed by a Pig Knight. And then my two flyers can just go forward since they can fly around. It doesn't matter if they stay on course. Awesome. Okay. Staravia and Rufflet. Let's do it. Now let's see what you got, dude. Okay. So the girders just going forward. I think they're all just going to go forward um, and try to get banners as fast as they can, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stop them with a Drutini. Well, actually, Drutini probably won't be able to get to them yet, but, um... Yeah, actually, nobody can get to them yet. Okay, whatever. So, Beldum's just going to go forward right here. And then we should probably... Nah, I'm not going to raise my defenses just yet. Um, we'll go ahead and wait for that, just, uh, just to see what happens. And then Staravia will go right up here. And then I'll send Rufflet right here to claim our third banner. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Looks like I'm at a disadvantage, but it won't, wouldn't be any fun if the odds were in my favor. Not knowing whether you're going to win or lose, that's the true thrill of the battlefield. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's a gambling addict, but um, hey, it's all good. So, let's see um, what these guys do. Okay, he claims the fourth banner. And then, I'm going to assume they're going to start attacking. And I'm sorry for the lag, guys. Can't really control that, unfortunately. And, oh, okay. A nice double vine whip attack against my guys. And Beldum's down, so is Staravia, but Staravia is just going to come right back up, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, um, oh my god, lag, so much lag. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Dratini right here, and do an attack against these two. Hopefully they both hit, but uh, we'll see what happens. Nice. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna have Pig Knight go ahead and use his ability of Fortify, or this warrior's ability of Fortify. And then I'm gonna attack, uh, attack this, uh, this Pan Sage right here. Nice, okay. And he jumped down, so I'm gonna go ahead and send Saravia. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do Marksman to improve the accuracy. And then we're gonna send it right up against this uh, this Machop, and it'll die. Nice. Hopefully, as long as it does maximum damage. Um, oh, I did a critical. Awesome. And you're quite something. Take me down. Take some. Yeah, blah blah blah. Some skill, I guess. I didn't really read it. You guys might have. I didn't. Um, so Beldum's going to go ahead and do some damage here, and we can probably take it out next turn. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and send Rufflet right here. And actually, what's what can I do for the ability? Increases range and makes enemy flinch. Okay. I uh I like that. Being able to make my enemies flinch, that's uh that's a good thing. Okay, so 33, that's actually a nice amount of damage. Um and he flinched and he's out. Okay. So, Gurgur flinched, he's not going to be able to move, um, but they already get, regained that banner, which is fine, no problems there. And, yeah, okay. So, this should be a pretty simple battle, guys. I pretty much have the upper hand here, I don't think I need to worry about anything. Um, attack stand, wow, I'm, I'm just doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna have Beldum come up here and deal the final blow, hopefully. Nice. And Pan Sage, Pan Sage is out of there. Um, and then what should I do? Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this here. Nice. And then have Rufflet come over here and do some damage to this guy. 33 damage. Can't complain about that. Okay. And then Pig Knight's gonna come over here and deal damage to this guy. Not a whole bunch, but still something. And then I'm gonna have Staravia come here and hopefully kill off this guy, um, let me go behind him and see if he can do some more damage than 58, because 58 doesn't give me a lot of leeway, 70 definitely does though. So yeah, let's do it, wing attack, huh? And again, um, even though my strength was lower than his army's strength, um, I guess I didn't really have to worry. So let's see, let's see if these guys do anything against me last ditch effort here. Um, and I don't think they're going to be able to pull anything off. No, Rufflet, don't die! Actually, that did a crap load of damage, holy crap. Okay, so... All I have to do is, let's see... Can I go ahead and do this? Eh, I'll get that item. Why not? Item, huh? Go ahead and do that. He's dead. And then I'm gonna claim the banner with um, Pig Knight. Okay, nice. I just have to hold that for five turns, but you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this guy, which will probably make me win automatically. So let's see. Oh, nice, a critical. I was thinking that I would need to use Rufflet to finish him off, but I got the critical. Well, you're impressive, no doubt about it. Yeah, Pugilus Castle is ours. That was actually a pretty simple battle. Um, I guess just because I had my flying type Pokemon there, which really helped. And wow, I got a got a bunch of levels there. Nice. I can recruit. Holy crap! I can even recruit the um the warlord there. Awesome. So let's go ahead. Phew! You are a worthy winner. But this is all part of the rich tapestry of battle. Victory ta tastes all the sweeter once you have known the bitterness of defeat. Anyways, congratulations, you won a battle that will be talked about for years to come. Okay, nice. Select warriors. I will recruit everybody. I've decided to go ahead and get rid of the weaker guys, though. 
um, that I have around around my kingdoms that just don't have the strength. Yes. Okay, so who do I got that that's pretty weak? I got a 105 there, a 95, an 83. Oh my god, yeah, those those guys need to go. They are just way too weak. Um, man, I could use that magic card if he evolved, but honestly. I don't want to take the time to level him up, so I'm just going to get rid of those four warriors there that are the weakest. And yeah, um, the reason why I'm doing this, let's see, actually, they have perfect wings, I'm going to keep them, um, I'm going to get rid of the people that don't have perfect, perfect wings though. So get rid of her. The reason why I'm doing this, I honestly shouldn't have recruited everybody that I did, um, honestly. Just because it's taking a lot of time to go ahead and level everybody up. It really sucks. So, um, we'll go, get, go ahead and get rid of that Pichu guy as well. And... Let's see. Actually, I'll keep this guy. I'll get rid of the... This dude. I know you guys are probably wondering why. Why is he doing that? But, um, there, there's reasons. There's reasons. And then, let's see, 102... That Pichu is so weak, though. <laughs> okay, um, I guess that 102 is going to be the next guy to go, so let's go ahead and get rid of him. Actually, no, I don't want to get rid of him. Um, let's get rid of Sorin. Yeah. I wish I could just dismiss people, like, without having to recruit them, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, they did not make this game like that. Hey! Beldum's evolving! Holy crap! I was not expecting that to happen so soon. So, nice, I got a Meting. Not bad. Awesome. Okay. Nice! Hooray! <laughs> okay, congratulations, Lord CTK. You know have you now have seven kingdoms under your control. Are you always this pleased with yourselves? Ah, surely you are aware of the crisis facing Ransai as we speak. Oh, well, I am not, but apparently you will tell me. Meanwhile, Nobunaga has been gathering his forces in the north of Ransai. Had conquered eight kingdoms himself. Oh my God, seven versus eight. Just two kingdoms remained. Terrera under Singen's command and an Illusio Kenshin's kingdom. Uh, both were renowned throughout Ransai as rulers of great strength. Indeed, even Nobunaga himself was said to fear them. Oh, okay. So, 8 versus 7 and then 2 left, so that makes 17. Awesome. So what if no Nobunaga captured those two kingdoms? That would be terrible! Nobody could would be able to stop them then! So, do I have to say what we're all thinking? I guess I do. CTK, you've got to get Singen and Kenson on, our, on your side. There are no other options. Why? What are you guys? What are you kids doing? Why don't you just join my RV? I don't understand. You guys are just making fun of me. I should uh, beat the crap out of you. Okay. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that battle. It looks like we got some training ahead of us. Holy crap! 1203 and 1316. So yeah, we got some trading. Six versus six. That's gonna be awesome. First time I had a a kingdom of six people that I need to beat. Okay, awesome. Well, we got some battling ahead of us, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed our battles. And um, this is CTK. Peacing out.